All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's a good one for you today because we have our final preseason friendly before we start the 2022 Etan season. We're playing Vasselund, a team down south in Stockholm, a team which last year were in Super Etan, and a team which this year are tipped as one of the favorites for our league. It's our final chance to test things out. It's gonna be a tough game, and we're gonna find out if we're ready for the season. Enjoy. Nearly eight. So a pretty light one this morning, day before a game. Very light and easy session, only for about an hour. Training in the dome today because a lot of snow last night covered the pitch. Every time that you think the winter is gone, it strikes back, especially here in Petia. Nearly April and we're still having loads and loads of snow. But our friendly tomorrow is against Vaseline. They're a team which are down south, so we're traveling down to Stockholm, so probably no threat of snow down there. So after training, came home, a little bit of a second breakfast with the eggs because I have run out of protein powder, currently waiting for that delivery. So I needed an alternative protein hit, went with the fried eggs today. And then this afternoon, pretty chilled one I think, we've got a little bit of shopping to do. We might go to the furniture shop to buy some stuff for the flat. A little bit of prep, getting ready for the game, just resting it up, taking it easy, ready for tomorrow. But first, a cup of tea. All going on in town today. I'm very busy. So this week it is the Swedish Championships for I think loads of winter sports: skiing, cross-country skiing, snowmobiles, all sorts going on in Petia, which is very cool. Anyway, we're off to the furniture shop. Let's go buy some stuff. So far, the DIY league in this house, Frankie, is miles out in front. Yes, you see those lights there? Changing light bulbs. Oh, I did those. Building tables, doing all sorts. So, I feel like this is my redemption moment. We're going to build a shelving box to go over there in that very empty space. I feel the time lapse coming on. So we finished it, Frankie is now in control of design, so that could be going on for the rest of the afternoon, but I've bagsied some books on there at least. I had to change my shirt, <clears throat> it was a little bit harder work than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Time for some lunch and then I'm going to have a little nap and chill out I think. We've had lunch, had the nap, this afternoon I've got something which I don't tell you guys that much about. Pretty much every episode we have Patron of the Week, you guys know. People that win Patron of the Week get their shout out on Keeping Goals. But also, once a month we have a direct Q&A just for Patrons on Zoom. So that's what we're doing this afternoon. Chatting with the guys over at Patreon, answering some questions for about 45 minutes an hour. Of course, if you guys want to be Patrons, as always, the link is in the video description. And we'll see if there are some good questions that we can put in the vlog. I think the hardest time for goalkeepers is between 17 and probably 22, 23. Because yeah. just, I mean, obviously at the very top level you have the loan system where people can, can be loaned out to lower league clubs. And I think in England especially that's used extensively with younger goalkeepers down into 
the lower football league and higher non-league and places like that. But for most clubs, unless you're at a Premier League team, if you're between the ages of 20, probably between 17, 18 and 23, managers are not likely to give you that chance playing in the first team. And then no. are you able to continue within the game and still get games and still be developing and still be improving and like you say, not not fall foul of just being frustrated and disappointed and not getting your chance because that's something that I found with a lot of lads that I trained with coming through. Those were the ages where a lot of them gave up or stopped playing or left clubs and never got another opportunity. So it's almost if you're in that slot, just kind of sticking with it wherever you can, trying to come through that little bit, and then suddenly the experience question isn't asked just because of your age, not because of anything else. So a really cool chat, some good questions. Had a few of the patrons on today. Had Adam, Martin, Ed. Thank you guys for joining. Always good to chat with you. Right, this afternoon, it's looking nice outside. Might go for a little bit of a walk and then take it easy this evening. Rest up, we've got an early start tomorrow, flying down to Stockholm. Looking forward to the game. Time to crack on with all that and I will speak to you guys when we're getting everything ready for tomorrow. So it's 10 p.m. Time for bed. The bags are packed, ready to go in the morning. The bus is leaving from the ground at 8.45, which for an away day is actually a bit of a lion, so that's not too bad. Probably get up about quarter past seven, grab some breakfast before we head out, and I'll speak to you then. See you in the morning. morning a bit less snow today but everything packed ready to go gonna head on the bus now head to the airport in Lulia fly down to Stockholm and then we'll be ready for the game should be a decent game as I said Vassalun last year Super S and team so got a lot of quality but it'll be cool to see how we compare and as I said final training game of the season last chance to try things out before the season starts let's go gonna be a good day Come on. I'm here with the best goalkeeper in the world right now <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're basically going to Stockholm to play a game and uh, it's gonna save our asses today. Only when you score at least two. I don't need to. <laughs> About three hours, three and a half hours before the game. I can't wait any longer. I'm getting hungry. Bit of chicken and veg. Very nice indeed. So there wasn't any commentary or any broadcast of this game, so I'm going to give you a little bit of breakdown as we go through. First of all, great song to walk out to, love a little bit of ACDC, fair play Vaseland. As I said, tough team, one of the top tip teams for the league, we knew it was going to be a tough one. Kicking off, we are in black shirt, red shorts, Vaseland in red shirt, black shorts, a little bit of weird combo. Good start from us, really good chance early on. Gustav. Good strike, good ball down the side by Stankovic, good opportunity early doors. This one got a little bit scrappy, so my focus here is just trying to trace the ball. A lot of kind of melee in the box, trying to make sure that I'm moving well, that I can get a good sight. After the ball gets half cleared, trying to reorganise the defence, get people picked up. As it's played wide, pick up my position when he gets to the byline, get down, get a hand to the cutback, and then eventually we're able to clear. A little bit of a chaotic couple of minutes. This one, cross into the box, took a deflection on the way, managed to get a little bit of a touch, which I think in the end was pretty pivotal because it looked like it was going straight to that lad at the back post, but managed to get a little bit of a touch after that cross was deflected. Maybe could have had a little bit of a deeper position in the goal, but again, something good to learn from. Good build up edge of the box, Gustavs does well again, through to Macket, over the bar, but a pretty late challenge, which on another day could have had a different decision. So two. Pretty good chances early on. 
Good work down the side, good ball into the box. Freddie or Mackie with the header. Freddie with the header. Well collected by the keeper. Henke with the header back. Was a little bit unsure. What Knew I wasn't going to get there first right at the end, so kind of pulled out slightly. Fortunately, he managed to take it over the line and it was a goal kick, but could have been a dangerous one. Again, through ball, trying to stand up well. Managed to save with my foot because I was starting to go. Maybe could have kept my position in sight slightly more central, but saves a save on the angle with the 1v1. Thought we were going to get a free kick here where he kicked Phillips' foot, but the ball managed to bounce to the striker in the box. He did well to spin on it off the top of the bar. It was a good strike in the end, but just a bit too high. Good counter press from the forwards, release Gustav, but good defending to be fair. 1v1, Gustav's very, very strong, so defender did well. Second half, pretty nothing shot on the angle. As you can see, it's pretty equal. Couple of half chances for both teams but nothing really fall in that clear cut. Ball over the top, came and decided to clear with my foot. I thought my momentum was gonna take me out of the box, so I didn't wanna come and use my hands and then get pushed outside and give away a free kick. So just decided to play it safe and come and clear it with the foot. Keeper did well there to win the tackle. A Little bit of a short back pass, but Pontus does a great job, basically defending one versus two to win the ball first and foremost and then also to keep it with the pass and set us out, set us up on a counter attack. Free kick into the box, easy take, call it nice and early, come and claim it, nice and confident, settle everyone down, restart again. Ball down the side from their captain, again just reading the play, coming out nice and early, diffuse the situation. Great ball into the box from James, defender does really well to get there before Maka. Corner in, little bit out of my reach. Guy managed to head it back in and see her does a great job clearing just off the toe of the striker. And then coming towards the end of the game, corner half cleared, lad cuts inside. I'm worrying about him cutting back onto the near post, but I managed to get across, move my feet well, explode up and touch that ball over the bar. 85th minute, so important save and important moment. So I was glad that I could contribute with that one. Ball over the top, again, just sweeping up behind, trying to be positive, trying to control situations before they get too dangerous. Again, another one over the top, read the bounce, come and claim it before the centre forward. A little bit of a counter here, 3v4, but Grimstad does really well to come across, really good tackle just as the striker was about to pull the trigger. Defenders making those extra yards right at the end are really important. And that was it. End of the game. Nil-nil. So, game's finished. Nil-nil. And I've got David here who watches the Keeping Goals vlogs. Another Brit in Sweden who mm -hmm. came to watch the game. Did you enjoy it? I did, in, I did indeed. And a really great save on the, the last minute there. They Thank you, the, mate. The boys in. It was a good game. Yeah. It was tough. Yeah. Lots of good challenges. But yeah. uh, it was a bit scrappy. But as Englishmen, we can appreciate it. A good, <laughs> a good scrappy nil-nil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Absolutely. And there's a lot of hard challenges, but it's some good football, some good, and then some good goalkeeping, of course. Ah, you're too kind. <laughs> so, if you're ever in Sweden, you want to come down and watch a game, like David, you can always jump in and come and watch because i got to meet you guys when I can. Um, thank you very much for coming. And thank a Watford fan as well, so maybe I'm your second favourite goalkeeper on YouTube. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course, the Cycling GK. <laughs> yeah, of the Cycling GK. <laughs> Norwegian Air business class. <laughs> This is what you have at the door when you come home in a snowstorm. Two feet of flipping snow. <sighs> 1 a.m. Delayed flights. Lots of waiting in the airport. Landing in a snowstorm. Bus back home. And it's finally time for bed. <laughs> what a day. But at least we've got the clean sheet, so we're smiling. And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. 
So we're back. Managed to get a little bit of sleep. Kind of recovered from the game. A very long day, but a good performance. In the final friendly, you're always looking to see if you are ready for the start of the season. And I think we did a really good job. Defensively, very, very solid against a good team. One of the top tip teams for this year. Minimised them to not many clear opportunities and even had some half chances ourselves, which on another day could have gone our way. Always good to keep a clean sheet, of course, defensively as a team, we did a great job. Still stuff to work on as we move into the season, but excited to finally get to competitive games and get 2022 off and rolling. Nice to meet David as well. As I said, if you guys are ever in Sweden, if you're ever gonna come and watch a game, send us a message, It'd be really cool to see you come down. Something else, which is pretty cool to mention, which if you've spotted, I will be extremely impressed. The ground that we played against Vassar London is actually the ground that we filmed those very, very cool snowy drone shots when we first went to Sweden, all the way back in series two of Keeping Goals. I didn't realize it until I walked through the gates and I saw the stand, but it brought back some really cool memories of traveling there with Johnny. So a little bit of Keeping Goals nostalgia as well from the game, which is pretty cool. This week's Patron of the Week is Marco Adzic. Marco, thank you for supporting us. We wouldn't be able to make Keeping Goals without patrons. So as a thank you, here is your shout out. If you guys want to be a patron, join in with the Q&As like you saw earlier on. You can sign up using the link below this video. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog, guys. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, click subscribe. Come and join the Keeping Goals Union. Loads more videos coming up, especially with the season getting started. So stay tuned for them. Look after yourselves. Keep chasing improvement as always. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care, and I'll speak to you in a bit.